Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about an app used to create driving scenarios for testing automated driving systems. It's called the Driving Scenario Designer app. Let's open it up. It's located in the app gallery under the automotive section. So first things first, why use this app? Well, let's say you want to test your sensor algorithms. Traditionally, you'd have to collect testing data by driving a car through various environments. Then, you'd bring that data into MATLAB where you'd analyze it. This process can take a lot of time and energy to do, but the Driving Scenario Designer app lets you test your algorithms faster. Instead of driving around to recreate a scenario to gather sensor data, you can virtually set up the scenario and simulate the sensor detections. Then, you can export these sensors as a variable in MATLAB and test your sensor algorithm. Let's walk through the app and show you exactly how to do this. We'll start by creating a road. Let's have this road going northeast, and let's add a center point in the middle and give it a bit of a bend. Now I want to make this road a little bit wider, so I'll come to the panel on the left where I can change the properties of any roads or actors I've defined. First, I'll increase the width, then I'll create two lanes, and I'll change the dashed marking to a double solid line. Finally, I'll make the line yellow for two-way traffic. Now let's add a car onto the road. The first car that I add is called the Ego Vehicle, and this serves as the frame of reference through which we view the other actors. You'll notice that when I drop the car on the graph, it is also created on the egocentric view that shows the scenario from this car's frame of reference. Now, let's create a trajectory for this car by right-clicking and adding waypoints to where it will travel. In this scenario, the car will travel down the path at a constant speed of 30 meters per second. But this doesn't really model how a car actually moves, so I can toggle this checkbox off and define my own velocities. But I'm going to leave it on for the simplicity of this demonstration. Now I'll run the scenario and we will see the car traveling down this defined path. Let's go back to the start and add in a second car. I'll put this one on the opposite side of the road and notice that I have to change the angle at which this car starts driving. I'll go to the Actor Properties and change the yaw to 90 degrees. I'll add in waypoints for this car and have it traveling in the opposite direction. Now let's add in another actor. This time we'll put a pedestrian in the middle of the road. Now I can run the simulation and both cars will drive down the road passing the pedestrian. This is the path I want, so let's now add some sensors to the Ego Vehicle to detect the pedestrian, the other car, and the lanes. To do this, I will select the car and hit Add Camera. You can add a sensor wherever you want, but I'll attach a camera to the predefined location in the center. I want this camera to detect lanes and objects, so I'll go to the camera's detection parameters and update the detection type. I'll also add two radar sensors, one on the left side and one on the right side, and I can adjust the angle by dragging and dropping. I'm going to make them about 41 and negative 41 degrees respectively. If I want to be more precise, I can go to the sensor placement and adjust the sensors to exactly the angles I want. Now going back to the scenario, if I run the simulation now, we'll see that in the bird's eye view we are actually detecting the pedestrian, the other vehicle, and the lane as our ego car drives by. So now let's say we're done with this scenario. The question is, what do I do with all of this information? Well, I can start by generating a MATLAB function that defines this driving scenario. When we switch back to MATLAB, we can see the auto-generated code. And I can also export my sensor data. So let's do that and give it an appropriate name we'll see that a variable has been created in the base workspace. This exported information can then be used to test autonomous vehicle controllers or sensor fusion algorithms. So to summarize, in a few easy steps, we managed to create a road and actor model by dragging and dropping. We mounted and configured radar and vision sensors on the Ego vehicle. 
we simulated the detection of objects and lanes, and we auto-generated code for our scenario and brought all of our sensor data into MATLAB. With this information, you can design scenarios to test your autonomous driving algorithms. And if you'd like more information about our automated driving capabilities, please visit our documentation.